Right, what is up everyone i'm gonna be showing you this super broken new volley bear build that i've been using and i find it to be extremely strong there are a few iterations and i'll explain every type of build for it but a super good low low pick even higher ranks you can pull it off for starters press the attack with ability haste cut down second page free boots inspiration with a jack of trades jack of trades low-key super broken rune i recommend you guys start using it if you go free boots second page get jack of trades for build, it's very standard. It's going to be Roa as a primary. No matter what, Roa first item, so broken. Super good on Bully Jungle. Second item, you can either go into full tank or Navori. If you want to spice it up, we're going to go into the Navori AD carry item, which gives you pretty much insane spammable abilities on Bully Bear. It's potentially broken. Either way, Roa into tank is perfectly fine. This game, you want to start E, always level 1. Start whichever buff you find to be good for you volley bear early game he's a very good early game jungler he's a he's a good ganking jungler but he's also very broken full clear jungler your e is really broken for clearing the jungle so you can see here just get the second e smite go w level two we're gonna be maxing q first and then max w second so important things to remember with volley bear is comboing is really important your e is really broken so a lot of times you want to use your e kind of when you're about to land on the enemy team and as you're jungling you always want to e as you're getting to the next camp so here i'm getting close to the next camp i'll just e and what it does actually is keeps your passive stacks going so here i have mass stacks you get a lot of attack speed as bully bear so you kind of want to keep your stacks going ideally if you can which can help you a lot dramatically i'm not sure what exactly happened there but not my problem mid laners they're not cool so here i'm going to keep full clearing because my objective is you know very standard i want to full clear always e the next camp if your primary camp is already low for example this raptor i can just finish it off while i go and once you get the q it's really important your q combos really well with your w so you can actually q when you're using your q you can actually cast your w right before which is really broken because it instantly procs press the attack that's something you really want to utilize, and that's something I'm going to show you a lot with in the game. So here, auto WQE one shot. That's the one shot combo that we're going to be. I'm going to show you a lot this game. And here, always full clear. Look at who you're going to be going to. So here I see it's Jin Sona. So like, how do we want to gank and approach this situation? First, we want to wrap around, and then once we get in a nice position, we look to see if the enemy team is reacting or not. So here. What we know for sure is Jin is backing off. This wave crashes. He either leaves or stays. If he's not showing, that means it's probably he's gone. So here we go, crappier. Sometimes the early game won't be that interesting. Sometimes it's just a very slow early game, and that's perfectly fine. Something like a Jin of Trinity fighting mid lane might be an option. And if you want to gank lanes, you always have to think about the spells that you have to play around. So here, I we gotta get him. Get him, lads. He's too fast now so we're gonna back off actually ganking is good here so here we're gonna go on vibe so here Ian on top of ourselves and it's really free we should be able to kill this Trindamir too get the flash and just very simple very simple play very simple team special team special players volley bear the bear is just unbeatable and after that play, we want to check if the crab is down. Volley Bear got the crab. And here we can base. So here, remember, primary objective. We don't want to stay on the map too long. Roa is broken on Volley Bear. Your AP ratios are insane. So here you can either rush, you know. The I don't like getting... See if you can get the Blasting one and a Ruby. That's like initially your best early game buy. The ability is going to help your E damage quite a lot. And also, you have good general good AP ratios in your kit. Your R has an insane AP ratio. But more importantly, this item just permanent, like infinitely stacks. And it gives you an extra level. And it's just super good for Volibear playstyle. And what's most important about this item, it's super cheap. So at 2600, this item is so cheap. It's insane. Compared to Sunder Sky, which is going to give you less HP. For pretty much 600 more gold. So that's not good for us. So here we're going to Q max. Sometimes you can do three points into Q into W max, but game is free. So pretty much what I do is I just keep repeating the cycle of the clear, right? Since I started top side, where do we end up? We end up top side again, right? So continue your clear, continue playing around that. 
play for, you know, maybe the Raptors here. Grew ups are really easy for us to do. You know, you're an early game jungler. You're a very aggressive champion. You do want to play, you know, for objectives. And here I actually want to play to see if Trindamir is here. Vi's actually on this, so we actually want to fight here. Okay, we got the Vi. Very interesting dragon call there. So, I mean, I guess we take that. Vi is a bit of a griefer. Stopping the dragon is good because I actually instantly go topside here and go for the void, the grubbies, and the crafts. So, there I should have known there was a dragon play happening because, well, Trinomir is running right when he should be running away. And that makes it very obvious. So here I'm extremely strong. Like Vi is very weak to, compared to us. So my goal is to get six. And Void Rubs is going to be a primary thing for us. This guy might flash. You get the kill, but he does not. So that's fine. So here I want to one-shot this crab so I can get six. And then we're going to play for the Void Rubs. I think I'm an infinitely, infinitely stronger than Vi. I think Vi is weak. He's nothing to me. So I just want to smite this and just get it done. But here when you're doing Void Rubs, this Bully Bear, just stack them all up. Mark one. Think about Volibear, when you mark with your W, the second mark will heal you. And that's a big thing about surviving. And you see how fast we are able to actually do the Void Grub. So it's a very, very broken thing for us. I love the Roa. And here, just focus one at a time with your E damage, which is a very, very simple thing for you. Now I'm in a situation where I can play for, you know, maybe kill top. Maybe gank mid. I also have blue buff up, so I'm going to play for blue buff. I don't like ganking Teemo because Teemo can blind me. And blinding is something like I like to see. Also, really important thing is to remember is that my I have enough for the row. You want to buy row very fast. So what we're gonna do is just do the blue and the grump. I always skip the wolves if I'm gonna base because I already I just want to be on a really efficient base timer, and this is gonna give me a really good efficient base timer. The row is just extremely you know powerful once you finish it. It gives you a really nice power spike, and it's just so cheap. You're really not going to be sitting on too much of a window where you're not going to be having it. It's super easy. You have three boots coming up. It stacks very nicely with Jack of Trades. So we're going to have a very nice Jack of Trades timer once we have our boots come in. Generally for boots, I go Merc Treads, CDR, or Armor Boots. Usually it's Merc Treads because you get CC'd quite often. So here what I do is I have Wolves up, but my goal is to get this boss side. And here I have t 2 so I'm going to... I'm going to look to be aggressive now. With the row completed, I have a very nice, you know, window where I can fight. So what I want to do is make sure we fight well. So here I think this guy's overextending. So here we're going to E and then R right on top. Go for the Jin. Press attack, W. Just always follow them with your auto too. Lux is flanking, which is good. Same thing, I would press the attack. Without the boots, you are a bit slow, so you have to rely on the Q move speed. So here I always check camps and drop a ward. What's the cool thing is you can actually kind of cheese people quite often, which is something I usually do. It is where AD carries, oh, AD carries really dumb, small peanut brains they have. They carry very small, very little intelligence. So a good thing is to always kill them again off this timer. So very simple play. So here we're going to eat and then we're just going to go on the gin right away. We're going to beat him down. Wait for the next rotation of our spells, and then we're going to flash on the gym. We're going to get the Sona right after, too. Just, one more, just press the attack on her. Listen, no, nothing too fancy. Here we see the Trinmere coming. Rocket, his R, tight around. He's definitely killable. Now he's life stealing with the Ravenous Hydras. That's a problem. So here I need to heal. So I'm going to eat the fruit. I love fruit. Delicious. I need to mark this with my W so I can start to heal off it. Vi might be lurking, so I'm not sure exactly Vi's position. So I'm going to E now. I'm trying to finish this fast. I mean, overall, that's a good play. We're happy. Volibear is pleased. If she comes into this side of the jungle, it's actually quite good. She's going to smite it and kill it fast. I don't have so much interest on... I'm just defending my balling in this situation. So what I'm doing is I'm going to look to go on the Vi. I'm 
just have to go on the buy here. Get the buy kill if you can. I'm not trying to dance here, man. I'm trying to live. Sona art hurts us in this situation. This is where it gets spicy. So here, it's perfectly okay to just go full tank. You can go Iceborne, Frozen Heart, MR, you need Spear Visage. It's fine to go full tank. But if you want to razzle dazzle a bit, if you're a man who likes to experiment, well, Navori. Navori, Navori, Navori. Navori, then full tank, and you're you're gonna win in some greatness here. I'm gonna show you. This is it's something not for the weak-minded. This kind of item. Low or low, low or low, you can go either way. Like I said, it's fine. You go Navori. The higher you go, the Navori becomes worse. But in like these sort of games and low, low ranking games, I would say. Like gold and below, you could easily pull off this Navori build. And I'm telling you, it's absolutely disgusting. Like, I'm gonna murder everyone. And the goal is to just get really tanky after, because you're gonna have pretty much spammable abilities. What the, the item does, it pretty much gives you reduced cooldowns every time you hit a spell, or after every auto. What it does, it pretty much reduces your cooldown by like a second, right? So it's a very powerful ability. So here are my goals of dive bot, right? So they're obviously doing a play top side. Top side is really weak. My agenda here is to just play bot side. What do we want to do is kill the gen. Like I said, 80 carries. Small brains. Very weak, weak minds. Kill very quickly. And then Sona would be the next one to kill. I don't know why I feel like she might just be here. So I want to keep playing bot side because I don't think it's ever going to be good for me, for example, to to go top side. I think to, top side is not human, so I'm not going to go top side. That's just simple. Check to see if Trinimer is rotating. If Trinimer is not rotating, okay. Looks like he's rotating now. Okay, he's faking it. So I want this blue. So I want this blue and then one dragon. And the thing about Navori is it's not strong until you complete it. So you really do. You really do need to finish it. So here are the goals to get dragon. Jin is top side. So if no Jin is if we see this, we see Jin top side, he gave up on bot. It means this is a 4v5 here, right? So it means we just have a good advantage if the enemy, you know, whatever Vi wants to show up. And that's a really important thing when you're playing. And also our goal is to break the sour because we need for sour money. Whatever happens there is not really a concern for me. My focus and my only concern is getting 1200 to have Navori. And once I have Navori, I'm happy. I need this cash, so I'm gonna just swipe up good. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. I missed my spells. Well, I guess Timo's blinded by his own lust for power. But now this is where the Navori kicks in. Press attack, Q combo, auto, auto. Trinomir is a bit of a problem. So I'm gonna E as I'm running here. Thankfully, we have Lux. I love me, my Lux girl. And that pretty much guarantees us a base timer. So here, really, this is where Nabori really kicks in. So this game, Armor Boots is really good, or Merc Tres. I have no quarrel with either one. They have a lot of CC too, so I'm going to go Merc Tres. And this item itself helps you with Jack of Trades. We're almost fully stacked. Once you go Merc Tres, pretty much all you need to do is get tankier afterwards. There's a lot of good tank items in the game. There's Zeke's. There's... Frozen hard. There is uh there is uh you know Thornmail can be good too. But look at this, look. So pretty much we have a lot of sun too, which is perma perma abilities up. Spammable. So if you can auto if the enemy team doesn't have much CC, you're pretty much invincible, right? Because you're gonna have your shield coming back up as you can see my cooldowns. Pretty much perma spamming, so it's a very strong build. If you were able to consistently auto attack and fight, so 
This is actually really good for me if I hit that slow because my Q resets. If you get CC'd, a good thing is your abilities will reset. I'm always on the hunt. I'm always looking for some fresh plays. Damn, he got shielded by Sona. Sona, you little rat. I'm going to get you next time. All right, we have our Murchos now. That should help. That was a bit deep. I did get summoners. I did get summoners. But you're about to see some magic happen. The second we get this party really going. The second I get the girls behind me, the gals, the girls really do get it done. But like I said, you could easily earlier go into tank. I think Iceborne is really good in a lot of games. Iceborne God. It's an extremely good item for Volibear. Even now, I consider it. It could be a very good item, right? Because it helps you slow. I have a lot of spammable abilities, so I'll probably go Iceborne. Frozen Hard, Visage. Just get HP and just make sure you're getting tank items. And here, I'm going to look to see if the Trinomir is on my red. It did look a little sus the way they're moving. I just want us to fight with my power sprite, right? Whenever you're strong, always... Your goal is to always look to fight. Strength must be... Pursued. Not the contact we needed there. And after a play like that, just go down mid-wave. bit laggy but it's okay i'm gonna have to go get dragon health check camps make sure everything's going well dragon's coming up in a minute no one's really gone in this bot wave yet we're losing top size so we have to do something so what i'm gonna do is actually just i'm gonna just split for a bit I think I will be able to deal with Trindamir. So if you want to deal with Trindamir, you have to itemize well. And also you get a free level up with Roa. So Roa has been completed. Mission's over. We can, we can, is the mission over, brother? Yes, it's over. It's a very good timer for us. So here we want to play for potentially blue. And it's really about playing for objectives, though. Like, you really got to play for objectives. So here I'm going to queue in a second. Well, we got a runner, lads. We got a runner. Tango, tango. Remember the... Oh, right into the loving arms of... Give me, give me, go! Don't not die on me, bro. I don't give you permission. Did I give you permission to die? Remember, spam mobility is extremely strong, so... And your E is really good poke. So you always want to kind of lay it out. I don't know what's happening there, but you always want to kind of lay your E out. So like in the pass. And just give it give you a nice little window for it. So here I want to see if Dune is trolling by like over pushing. We catch the waves out. I think we should still fight, so I think quite happy about fighting here. I think it could be a good fight. Again, Sona flashes. She R's like that. We just have to get on her. Once we make contact with her. Dude, Jin is a nice little target right here too. Don't mind if I do. God, this Sona pisses me off so much. Remember, if Trinomir tries to go on us, for example, I have a lot of shields. If you want to heal up again, you can just go on the wolves. Sona, you little rat. Victory is mine. I think I'm losing to a Sona. I think I'm actually losing to a Sona. If I hit another Shroom, I might die. 
but I believe that AIM can save the world. Warmog's also a good item if you're thinking about that. And yeah, just get tanky afterwards. Like, have fun, man. This is a more fun low ELO. Just get good at Bully Bear. And this build is just extremely broken. It just sits well with you. And the Jack of Trades is going to proc really nicely. So I have 3k. So I really need a base. I need to think how... Like, what's my problem in this game? I Sticking on people is an issue, right? So this is a good sticking item. They have a lot of auto base champs. So Frozen Heart could be good. Do I need MR? I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to get a Ruby. So usually I go like this. It's like my itemization. Now I'm extremely strong. So I feel really good. I'm really happy with the state of my position. So I also want to play around my girls. Because girls get it done. And also in this situation, I think... Vice, I'm extremely strong. Iceborne Gauntlet is a huge item, by the way. Great for solo queue. Like an R buffer. We're online, by the way. I'm sorry, if, did anyone realize that we're... we're uh, sir, we're actually on... We're live right now. It's just infinitely like you just there's no there's no god only bully there is no god only me only bully the quake beneath my feet the darkness awaits the grim fake reality for those who weep very good scaling iceborne extremely good item for solo queue, I recommend Iceborne Gauntlet. Synergizes extremely well. And for MR, Spear Visage is a pretty standard MR item. I feel like you can't really go too wrong with MR. Like, there's a lot of options in which magic resist item you want. But this game, like, their AP is, like, pretty not good. So I can get an another armor item. This is where you decide on, like, what exactly you, you'd, you'd want. Frozen Heart's still good. Getting, like, a Warmogs is also very good if you want Warmogs. Warmogs is an extremely good item right now. So uh, I think Warmogs, if you have enough ability haste, which I think it's okay right now, I like to go Warmogs in a situation like this. Because I think I'm getting poked sort of a lot in a way. And, you know, HP does help you a lot. And this is still a tank build, right? And if you don't like the Navori, you don't even have to build it. Just go Iceborne. Go Frozen Hard. And you're going to have a great time. You're going you're gonna, to you're, you're gonna be, you're, you're gonna be having a good time. So my goal is to group up. So I need everyone to group up here. So you always have to ping your team. Yorick is not human, so we don't worry about that. Poke them a bit here. So we can actually do Baron here. So I don't care about this dragon. I think they are too far. So we just do Baron, right? Because they're going to dragon. They've shown they're going to dragon. And Bully Bear extremely good at doing the Baron. Because, well, this item we have keeps us super healthy with shields. No problemo. Let them have the dragon. And we can always go push mid afterwards. So it's. In fact, we can actually fight them. They're not even on dragon yet. So we can actually just fight them here. I get some speed here. This is going to be an angle where we're going to R here. Yeah. Yes, uh, a lot of shrooms. I'm still gonna. I'm, I'm a god rumor. Don't forget. L never forget. Don't don't let them ever forget that you're a god and you are Bully Bear. Who are you? I'm Bully Bear. And this is the Nomori it does. It's it literally gives you spam ability. So the enemy team is like not that much CC if you're good at Bully Bear. Easily can make this build work. Easily. Like freest LP in your life. I'm telling you. Like low rank bro if you're... Or just watch this video. You're going to be climbing like you've never climbed. And like I said, I think Bully Bear is just really strong with the Robi. So if you don't like the Navori, you don't even have to build it. You can literally don't even build... You can just skip the Navori and build like warm Iceborne this item really good. You can build Warmogs really good, Frozen Hard. 
Spear Visage for MR, right? Like, you, you just build tank items. This champion is broken right now. The roll is just really nice for the early game because it gives you a really nice buy. So here I'm pushing on the inhib wave, right? So we're doing really strong well, but we also have the issue that our base is kind of open. So what do we have to do? We have to push on the inhib waves, right? Because the enemy team is playing split. So we have to make sure the waves are good. So I am strong enough that, okay, I can split against the trending here. So that doesn't bother me. So I just want to make sure that the wave is pushed and we're in a good position. Make sure we bear in the wave as well. Kill the Sona, because what, what did we talk about earlier? We don't like the Sona. Get on him once we have this kind of CC. Put the E behind us so we have the shield. Kind of entertain it a bit. You know, just entertain it. We want the Vi to go on us, right? Vi doesn't know we're actually strong enough to one-shot her. Here, I'm going to just flash on her, right? Because I'm like, we're God. Like, right now, we are God. You, you could call me God Bully. When they think of Voli, they sh they shred, and this is usually like how I would build. I think it's a very strong build, very under underrated. I recommend you get you dip your toes in this, press attack. Remember the combo I talked about? Cooldown reduction. Sometimes even gods bleed. I hope you guys like that video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out my stream whenever around 7 p.m. PFC. Good luck in the games. Good luck in the climb. I'll see you guys next time.